Hey guys, so first you're going to want to go into the Vuforia developer website and you want to go and download the Vuforia SDK for Unity. Uh, right now we're using Unity 5.3 and Vuforia is on version 5. Then you're going to want to go to the develop tab and then you're going to want to add a license key uh, give your license key a name and the settings that are it's on will be good. Then you're going to want to go to target manager and you're going to want to add a database and then in that database you're going to want to add targets which are just images and after you add your images, you're going to want to download the data set for the Unity editor. Once you have all those both downloaded, you're going to want to create a new project. I'm calling mine AR test or AR project and it'll be a 3D project. So once you have your project open, you're going to want to open the Vuforia SDK. And then you're going to want to select all and then import. Once that is imported, it's going to ask you to update the API and you can just go ahead and agree to do that. Then you're going to want to select your data set and load it into your scene. Then you're going to go into the Vuforia folder and then in the prefab folder and you're going to bring a target image into the scene along with an AR camera. And you can also delete the default camera. And you're going to want to set your coordinates of the camera all to zero along with your target image. And then raise your AR camera so it's facing the target image. Then you're going to want to add your license key from the license license manager page and add it into your application key in the AR camera. Then in the target image, you're going to want to load the data set and then your image target. In the database load behavior, you want to load the data set and you want to activate it. After you have your scene set up, you're going to want to add a 3D object into your scene. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a simple cube from the game objects tab and putting it into the scene on top of the target image. And then when you run Unity, you'll see that it works. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a Vuforia scene in Unity. Like and comment if you've enjoyed.